Professor Passmore, whenever Hume uh, gave a shorter exposition of his own philosophy, which he in fact two or three times did, he always put fundamental emphasis on what he had to say about causality. The idea being that causality, this cause and effect relationship, is what binds together the whole of our known world. Suppose a small child whose parents have always given it soft cotton toys, it has had soft cotton dolls, soft cotton dogs, so on and so on, everything soft cotton. One day somebody gives it a rubber ball. The child drops the rubber ball over the side of the bed and the next thing he notices is the rubber ball bounces. Nothing else in his experience has ever bounced before, and here's this ball that begins bouncing. Now, the first thing that David Hume says is that it didn't matter how long the child had looked at that ball, turning it over, looking at one side and another, it could never have inferred 
that when it dropped the ball, the ball would bounce. This came to it as something it couldn't expect uh, prior to experience. could put what you've just said to us in, so to speak, abstract general terms, I think, by expressing it this way, that we can't form any conception at all of an ordered world without the idea of causal connection between things. But cause, we discover, when we try, is something that we can't actually observe. We may say that event A causes event B, but we find when we examine the situation that all we actually observe is event A followed by event B. <laughs> 